Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we have fi one final recipe for the big game, and this one is fun. So if you're having people over to your house, uh, maybe you need to go over to somebody else's house, you're watching the game and want to bring something that will really wow everybody, this is it, and it's so quick and easy. Talk about a make-ahead. They're brownies that are in the little shape of footballs, and, you know, kids really get into the big football game, too. So it's fun to involve them. They can even help make these, and it doesn't get any easier than this. I'm all about shortcuts, and this one is fantastic. Uh, we're going to start by making a wonderful homemade ganache that we're going to frost these brownies with. And I'm just going to melt some chocolate chips. You can very carefully do this in the microwave, but I like to play it safe. So I'm going to take some heavy cream and heat that along with some chocolate chips. I'm going to wait till the, that cream gets a little bit heated before I add the, the chips. But as I said, you could very, very carefully do this in the microwave, too. Either way will work. Okay, now for the brownies. Go get your favorite type of brownie mix. We splurged and, and got my favorite type. And you want to get two boxes. You want these brownies to be nice and thick. So you want to get two boxes of the brownie mix. Uh, and then I have foil lined your 9 by 13 baking sheet so that the edges of the foil overlap the pan so that you'll be able to lift these out. So bake the two mixes in the same 9 by 13 pan that's going to create a nice thick fudgy brownie. Um, and you want to make the mixes according to package directions. Get the batter into your 9 by 13 pan and bake them. So this is the wonderfulness of this is that you've sprayed your foil really well with baking spray. And now we're going to come in and show you how easy it is to do these football brownies checking on our heavy cream starting to get warm here so I'm going to add my chocolate chips got some semi-sweet that's what I happen to love this is just the safest way to melt chocolate and cream okay so picked up a cookie cutter in the shape of a football if you have a round cookie cutter you can kind of bend it a little bit you could even do these freehand and just, you, you know, use a knife. But this is going to be the easiest way to do it, just to come in here. And the scraps, not a problem. Trust me, they will get eaten. So you see these nice, big, thick brownies? They're fantastic. That's why we wanted to do the two boxes of brownie mix. I mean, you certainly could just do one in the 9 by 13 pan, but they're going to be much thinner. Okay, so you get the idea. Just and line up these little scraps. We'll fight over them, man. Okay. So now we've got our little footballs, and we're going to start decorating them. You could certainly just, again, take another shortcut and do chocolate frosting. You could color white frosting in the team you're rooting for or both teams team colors. But this chocolate ganache really makes a nice glaze. And it's kind of shiny and it harden up. Looks really pretty. I'll show you. So this is getting nice and smooth. melts perfectly as you can see it smells really good too now at home maybe let this harden up just a tad let it cool just for a couple of minutes before we start frosting here we're gonna get right to it so I really the best way to do this is to come in with a spoon Just kind of push it around. You don't really need to spread it. That's what's kind of nice about this. Those brownies are very moist, so sometimes it's hard to frost them. That's why when I came up with this recipe, I thought this ganache would be an easy way to make you look like a rock star. It's an easy way to frost things because you don't really have to mess with it. It's 
the frosting just does it on its own, kind of goes where it needs to. But you could melt white chocolate chips and then color them with some of the gels in the team colors if you wanted to have colored footballs. All different ideas. And if some drips on the side, no big deal. Does anything smell better than melted chocolate? I don't know. Okay, so then let that harden just a bit and you come in with a piping bag or in this makes it really easy. I've got just some white frosting. Now pipe on the laces and there you go. And there they are all done when the frosting dries. Super cute. We'll be back. Stay with us.